your praises over and over again. We lift your name forever. How we love to sing your praises over and over again. We lift your Matt, Jordan, Israel, Drew, welcome. It's so good to be here at Influence Church, and we just love what's coming out of here and what the Lord's doing here, and just uh, the work is evident in the songs you guys are writing, and this song over and over, it just, just hearing you guys just do it was amazing. It's a song of adoration and praise, really, and um, so what was the story behind it and the heart behind writing it? So the story behind this song was Jordan and I and Michael Barkoulis, we were kind of wrote it all together, but the inspiration scripturally was taken from Romans 1, where it says the invisible attributes of God are clearly seen in creation, mm. so that all men are without excuse. And, um, and then Psalm 19 talks about, you know, the heavens declare the glory of God. You know, you look around you, and it's undeniable mm. that God is real. If you just pay attention to creation, you pay attention to the world around you, his attributes, his nature, who he is, is so clear and visible just mm -hmm. by all of our surroundings. And so we wanted to kind of just capture those verses in this song and create just a song of high praise, like you said, a, mm -hmm. a, a song of adoration, yeah. a corporate song that is um, easily accessible for churches to sing and for people to just like get their hearts engaged with mm -hmm. who God really is and the nature of who he is. And so that's kind of just the, the heart behind it. That's, I love that high praise term. Yeah. Because like there's a songs of praise and there's songs of adoration, but there's songs that just take it to another level. Totally. And, I love the way that you guys tag at the end of this song, too, because if you've seen any of your videos that, and what you guys do here, it's the songs don't end very easily. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a really sweet, good thing. And so I love the way it tags because it kind of creates and gives a template for that, for somebody to lead that song and maybe kind of step into an area of free worship. Yeah. What, what about influence and what you guys do like kind of breeds that? Like, and how would you... How would you kind of encourage somebody to lead a moment like that and go into that? Yeah, I mean, for me, the, the nature of worship, uh, the way worship should be is that it never ends. You know, mm -hmm. Jesus said, let it be on earth as it is in heaven. You look at what's going on in heaven and there's 24-7 worship around the throne. <laughs> and so if he's going, it needs to be on earth as it is in heaven, Jesus is worthy of night and day, nonstop, unending, unceasing worship on the earth right now. Mm. And so obviously we can't, you know, have worship services that go night and day. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but I think, you know, it's hard to end a song, especially like when you're feeling the presence of the Lord. And like, you know, I love that that tag, then sings my soul, mm -hmm. you know, how great you are. I, I grew up conservative Lutheran singing the hymns. And so <laughs> taking that, even just that theme from how great thou art, just yeah. that declaration that you can sing forever, you know, okay. then sings my soul, how great you are, God. You are you are great and greatly to be praised. And so I, I just think the nature of worship is that it's not supposed to stop. Mm -hmm. It's not supposed to end. It's good. Because God is worthy of night and day unending worship. That's so good. good. Yeah. Amazing. Well, Jordan, would you walk us through the song sections and the chords? Yeah. The intro starts with, uh, starts on the one, and then it goes to the five, then to the two minor, four, six, and five. So that's one, five, two, four, six, and then five. And then when it goes to the verse, the verse is honestly the same thing as the intro chords, which is the exact same thing. Um, when we get to the pre, we go to the four, six, five, and then there's a fill in chord at the one over three, right before the four, back to the four, six, five, one over three, four. And the chorus goes to, uh, it's, it's pretty similar. It goes to the four, one, five, and then one over three. And then it's in the same thing, four, but instead of going to the one, you're gonna to go to the six, six, five, one over three. So to reiterate that, you're gonna have four, one, five, one over three, four, six, five. So it, it, it does have a, quite a few going back and forth. And then the bridge, how great you are, um, you can play, it starts on the one, and then it's a two minor, or you can play the four over two. Uh, just depending on how you want to play it, I like to play the four over two. So it's one, four over two, and then it goes to the four, 
and you'll walk it up to the six, go five, six, one over three, four. Amazing. Thank you guys so much for sharing it with us today. Dancing's 